Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video we're going to talk about top and best SIEM solutions. SIEM or security information and event management solutions are basically the core part of any security environment. Let's talk about the SIEM architecture and how they operate basically. As I said, SIEM is the central or core part of any security architecture where all the devices and uh, basically sources that you have, whether they're operating systems, applications, uh, databases, or whatever they are, they're basically sending the logs to the SIEM solution. And SIEM would do some sort of analytics in there to identify any possible anomaly or incident or any malicious activity. So at the same time, SIEM would uh, basically have other sources and receive obviously other information from different sources like vulnerability scans or asset information or, or threat sources uh, to basically be able to enrich that data and make uh, more sense obviously of the data that, that we have and correlate the data in a better way and present it obviously back to the security operation team in, in a better way. So that's basically how uh, SIEM solutions operate. And uh, if you want to look into detail of how uh, they basically uh, work in SIEM operation, uh, you see at the stage one where we have uh, here at the, at the bottom, basically SIEM uh, receives logs from all different sources. So at this stage, obviously the logs are uh, basically raw logs. They don't mean anything. They're just being sent from devices to the SIEM solution. And SIEM would go through some correlations, normalization, expansion, and enrichment of the data. So up to stage four, obviously, you see SIEM would obviously try to make sense of the data and make uh, the uh, data more understandable and the logs more understandable and uh, basically present it in a better way, right? And then at stage five and six, obviously through some orchestration and obviously advanced detection, SIEM would try to identify the anomalies and uh, malicious activities, right? So that's, that's where, where our uh, security operation team look at the anomalies and look at the logs and look at the uh, incidents and obviously try to um, identify any possible problem that we might have in the environment and, and respond to it. So that's how basically SIEM solution operates. <coughs> so if we are going through um, obviously identifying and selecting a SIEM solution, there are a few things to consider and understand. One of the most important things that often people forget is the platform security itself, right? So we want to be uh, sure that our SIEM solution is actually secure itself, right? So we don't want to pick a solution that is insecure. And uh, if bad guys obviously get access to, to our, our logging and, and SIEM solution, they can do pretty much anything. So they can do log tampering. They can obviously uh, use those logs and information that we have on the SIEM solution for any malicious activity or even the, delete the logs after obviously they compromise any environment. So our SIEM sec solution itself has to be secure. So platform security is very important thing that's often forget. So um, the next part is obviously uh, the compatibility. So there are uh, lots of different devices and sources that they're sending logs to the SIEM. So having a SIEM solution that is able to understand those different logs from different sources, so wider range that it could support is much better. So it actually reduces the amount of operational work that you have to do, right? So that's, that's very important. So um, whether they are Windows servers or five devices or firewalls or whatever those devices are, obviously if SIEM solution is able to understand those logs, it's very important. The next part is obviously you always will have some devices or some sources that uh, SIEM, SIEM solutions won't understand, right? If, if you have a custom application, if you have an IoT device, it's, it's very uh, likely that your SIEM solution wouldn't understand those logs. So you obviously need to be able to uh, create your own custom filters and customize the solution so uh, SIEM solution would understand those logs as well and obviously be able to present that back uh, in a right way. <coughs> so 
data correlation and aggregation is another important part of the same solution, right? So that's uh, that's very important. Uh, so our same solution need to be able to correlate the data, and if if we are receiving logs from from different sources, like from our VPN uh, servers, as well as firewalls, as well as Windows uh, domain controllers, and so on. So we get the same sort of results for for the same people from different sources, being able to uh, make a meaning meaning. Uh, for the for that uh, those logs that we're receiving and obviously analyze the data and correlate the data is is very important so uh, that's an important part of the same solution effective security monitoring and alerting so that's the key feature of our same solution we want to be able to uh, monitor the security incidents and anomalies and be able to obviously uh, receive alerts at the right time with minimum false positives uh, so that's that's very important so useful reports and dashboards so this is another important thing uh, for for a sim solution so we need to be able to um, obviously see the reports um, that are really useful for us not ju they're not just reports but the reports that they are really actionable and understandable and easy and 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 useful and obviously the dashboards for our security team to be able to look at those on a regular basis and obviously make some uh, meaning out of it so compliance requirements so obviously uh, our sim solution needs to meet compliance requirements so if we we're supposed to be uh, pci compliant or nist or or uh, hipaa compliant or gdpr compliant so they, they, they our sim solution needs to be able to create reports create dashboards respond to those requirements the specific requirements and uh, obviously present it back uh, in alignment with those those uh, compliance requirements Redundancy and uptime. So uh, obviously, our same solution needs to be up all the time. If it is down or it's over capacity or it's not working properly, uh, then obviously we're going to lose the uh, logs and we're going to lose the obviously important information about the incidents. Powerful search capabilities. So our security team need to be able to look at the um, interface and create custom queries. And basically, when there is an incident, they need to be able to go there and easily, obviously. Um, search for what they need and do their forensic investigation and identify obviously the source and the root cause for that incident otherwise um, if the search capabilities are uh, not good then it's going to be a big problem for our, our operation team so that's uh, that's uh, an important part of a sim solution and not all sim solutions they have that good capability right um, <clears throat> automated policy implementation based on traffic so we need to be able to create different policies based on our requirements right so if we want to um, obviously create a specific policy to respond to uh, different uh, uh, basically logs or even we want to create a specific policy to make some logs uh, available only to some users or what, whatever we want to do we need to be able to create obviously specific policies so that's another important part the same solution simple operation right so uh, same solutions are normally not easy to operate so that's that's another thing to consider and make sure that we understand the complexity of operation for the same solutions and how we can really deal with that and integration capabilities so it's a uh, majority of the, the security tools and different servers and services and uh, all the you know applications that you find on the internet they uh, need to be integrated with the same solution and obviously wider that in integration capability is the better and also the next step for your same solution probably next maturity level for your same solution is going to be when you want to have things like end user behavior analytics uh, or orchestration response and uh, be able to integrate with those things is is uh, really important and critical so <laughs> I'm going to uh, just talk about obviously the sim solution as always we're going to talk about the Gartner Magic Quadrant uh, first and Forrester Wave second for security information event management or our sim solution so if we refer to the Gartner report um, uh, basically we can see there are it's a crowded market so there are a lot of obviously different vendors on the market as you can see uh, uh, under the leader section, we have a Splunk, IBM, Logarithm, Exabeam, uh, Dell, McAfee, uh, and, and so on. So we have a few different, uh, obviously, solutions 
uh, and vendors that they are they are on the market. So Splunk has been there for a long time. IBM has been there for a long time. So obviously, um, so Logrithm they are pretty good and they are they are uh, moving fast. Exabeam they are moving fast as well. You see Rapid Seven they are actually moving pretty fast as well. So they just started not long time ago uh, with their Sim solution, which is which is quite interesting and the the integrations they have with their vulnerability management and stuff. So that makes it makes it interesting. So that's uh, uh, obviously on the report. So there are uh, benefits and ad uh, or advantages and disadvantages with any of these solutions. So Splunk, obviously, uh, they are uh, well. I mean, you talk to anyone about the Splunk, you'd uh, uh, hear uh, horror stories about the, the the prices and stuff. So that's. Uh, needs to be considered but at the same time I think others are not much better so they are uh, obviously things to to consider and understand um, the Forrester report obviously Forrester wave is also uh, a good uh, research document to to refer to so if you want to obviously you can go, go to into detail and look at the Forrester reports that they have gone and obviously analyzed uh, some data in here as well uh, so they basically uh, make it this a uh, little bit larger, so you can you can read. So they basically have done some um, analysis on different vendors that you can see here. Um, and uh, if we refer to their uh, basically uh, wave di uh, diagram, um, you can see they have logarithm IBM Splunk as uh, obviously leaders. RSA is their uh, secure Nix and XBM are there, and uh, you see pretty much very similar type of. Uh, obviously respond in here so uh, if you uh, look at the uh, the reports you see pretty very similarity obviously between the uh, Gardner and Forrester uh, report and you, you see again with the Forrester report the difference is you see the market presence uh, as well so you see that uh, Splunk, IBM, Logarithm there they have a uh, obviously a large uh, market presence as well as micro focus alien vault is not uh, far behind so they have pretty good uh, coverage in there so now with that said i think um, i have done my research and I, i'm going to talk about obviously what are the winners from my point of view so again these are totally my point of view that uh, we're going to talk about um, uh, in my view if you talk about a small business or medium sized business uh, alien walls and managed engine are probably the two same solutions so as managed engine is the smaller obviously for smaller companies alien wall for medium sized companies it's a really good solution alien wall is a uh, uh, simple cloud based so you don't have to do much and they provide you obviously what you need um, they, they require uh, less obviously maintenance and less operation right so these two solutions if you are looking at enterprise then uh, Splunk, Logarithm and Exabeam I think uh, I believe that they are the winners and uh, the reason for that is obviously a lot of things in terms of all those criteria that I mentioned earlier Splunk obviously has a lot of great capabilities and integrations with a lot of solutions on the market and they have obviously the community have a lot of apps available and uh, and obviously um, uh, there are a lot of people on the market that they understand that solution as well they can help you logarithm obviously they are growing pretty fast and uh, uh, what I forgot to say about S S Splunk they have a pretty pretty good uh, cloud solution as well so you can get uh, um, at the enterprise level, you could get uh, your uh, SIEM uh, basically as a SaaS on, on, on cloud, right? Um, Logarithm, they are they don't have a SaaS solution yet, but they're working on it, and that's going to be available as well, but they, they, they are obviously pretty good. Exabeam, they are a little bit different than traditional SIEM solution. They are basically um, doing end-user behavior analytics, and uh, they call themselves next-generation SIEM and uh, they they are good at what they do um, obviously they're a little bit different than traditional same and things that you expect so i put them at the third obviously on the third position so i would rather to go with a splunk and logarithm and then obviously think about the user behavior analysis on, on the top of it uh, but that's just just my view exabeam is is pretty good as well so their their solution is a little bit different so it appliance-based solutions you have to have on the 
on, on your environment and for the environments that they are really distributed and and uh, global and uh, if, if you have a single office it might be easier but if you have you know hundreds of different offices all around the world then uh, it might be a little bit more challenging to go with a solution like that so I would rather to, have to go with a cloud solution or a SaaS based solution just like a Splunk or Alien Vault. So again these are my personal view um, and uh, you're more than welcome to look at the Gartner report in Forrester Wave and decide for yourself. I hope this has been useful for you and thank you for viewing.